So what is the PCV, the positive crankcase ventilation system? How does it work? Do you actually need one on an engine? And what are the typical problems that you will experience when your PCV start to fail? Because this crops up in a lot of engine problems lists where the PCV valve has started to fail. So we're gonna look at the typical causes of a failed PCV. And this will give you the information you need to make a decision on when to replace your PCV. And just give you a little bit of background on what they are and why we essentially need them in the modern engine. <laughs> So the crankcase is the main part of the engine that contains all of the components. So a lot of pressure is building up. You've got those explosions going on inside each of the cylinders and the pistons moving down will create very, very severe changes in pressure and current within the crankcase itself. So with the heat that goes on, you will expect the crankcase pressure to start building up to extreme levels really. And that's not gonna be good for the oil that's within it. There's a, a vapor of oil that's going on inside the crankcase just with all the splashing that goes on and as the metal rubs over the oil particles start to dissipate into the atmosphere within the crankcase itself and if that gets into the cylinders itself it can effectively lower the octane of the fuel and cause premature ignition the pressure buildup can also force that oil into areas of the engine where you don't really want it to and basically just makes the engine oil work much much harder so the positive crankcase ventilation just maintains a correct level of pressure within the crankcase whatever's going on in the engine whatever its temperature whatever rpms and speeds that crankcase ventilation system is doing a job of regulating those pressures so what happened before we had the positive crankcase ventilation they still had to address the issue of pressure building up within the crank of the engine so we've had the pcv since about the 1960s in manufactured vehicles but before that you had what was called a road draft tube and it's basically just an open tube that extended from the crankcase of the engine and vented everything out into the atmosphere whenever the pressure built up. This would allow dirt, dust and grime to enter the crankcase so it was causing problems with the oil life and basically the quality of the engine itself. It was dramatically reduced in its reliability just because of this open tube to the outside. And what's more, it's dumping out those harmful vapours from inside the engine, the acids, the oil vapours, the combustion processes that have got past the, the pistons and it's dumping those into the atmosphere and because it's dumping that into the engine bay generally you're breathing that in it's going into the cabin itself of the car so that is causing a health problem or a health hazard to the occupant of the car so another method used was the vented oil cap so there was a little vent underneath the oil cap that as the pressure would build up inside the crankcase it would just allow that pressure to escape but that wasn't particularly effective at regulating the pressure within the crankcase it was very crude Again, it was just venting it out into the atmosphere, into the engine bay, and that became another health hazard to the occupants of the car. So the PCV was introduced, and it's far more delicate in its operation. It's much better at managing those crankcase pressures. And those gases that come through the PCV due to the buildup of pressure are sent back into the engine itself, where they can be harmlessly burnt off. Whatever catalyst systems and particulate filter systems you have in your engine would deal with the harmful aspects of that and render it benign and harmless as it comes out of the exhaust. So this actually increased engine performance because it was better at regulating the engine efficiency. It reduced the harmful pollutants that come out of the engine during the combustion process and it increased engine life and dramatically increased your engine oil life. You'll notice that service intervals on early cars was much reduced to what you would get in a modern car. So we see some manufacturers saying that you can change your oil every 24,000 miles or every two years so I'll let you discuss in the comments the merits of having such long oil changes but it's certainly fair to say that oil change schedules are substantially longer than they used to be partly because of the formulations of the oil but mainly because of the positive crankcase ventilation system and how effective that is at protecting the oil from all of the pollutants and byproducts of the combustion process. So why does pressure build up within the crankcase of the engine? Well we've mentioned the pistons going up and down. There's also the piston rings if they're starting to leak you might get blow by where some of 
the combustion explosion is getting past the pistons into the crankcase itself. So as the engine starts to wear, the PCV is doing much more work to maintain those engine pressures because there's dramatic changes taking place with each stroke of the engine. So sludge buildup in the oil can also cause excessive pressure buildup in the engine just because the oil is not lubricating the engine as well as possible. Maybe certain pathways are blocked and restricted so there's greater friction going on in the engine so that builds heat up. Any kind of heat increase in the engine is naturally going to raise the pressure. Whenever you heat up a mass of air it's going to expand or the pressure is going to increase. And again if the PCV itself has started to fail the pressure buildup will become a problem within the engine. So what are the symptoms you will typically see with a faulty PCV system? Well the first notable thing is your oil consumption is generally going to increase. You're going to be losing oil through seals in the engine that would normally hold it back but because of the elevated pressures it's no longer effective at doing so. So the flow of harmful gases or emissions may also increase rendering the vehicle illegal in some areas. So those blow by gases that occur within the engine will basically just stay inside the crankcase itself and it will start to form carbon deposits. So that can lead to all manner of issues restricting the airflow of gases within the engine. It can cause hot spots which can create premature ignition and detonation problems and generally because of the excessive pressure inside the engine the pistons are doing extra work on the downstrokes to overcome that pressure so you will be down on power so it can lead to rough running poor idling and a whole host of problems and issues so if your engine is starting to misfire splutter or you're getting carbon building up or there's other issues certainly get that PCV checked because it's a very common area of failure on a modern engine and that's mainly due to the fact that it's been designed to very precisely regulate the crankcase pressure so if it started to sludge up or build up deposits or the seal itself has started to split it can cause all sorts of running issues within the engine so the PCV is doing a lot of work so it is going to be subject to wear and tear the opening and closing of it constantly is going to cause problems over time the components within the PCV will degrade over time as they get older like all of us things start to wear out and start to need replacing and also in some cases the PCV is not being correctly installed so it's never been that effective and because it's been incorrectly installed the problems have started to happen within the crankcase itself pressure started to build up and that can accelerate the wear and tear on the PCV itself as it's really struggling to do its job so the PCV location in some engines makes it a real pig to change it's quite a challenge on some engines on a few engines it's relatively easy it's quite easy to get to and they've thought about the need to replace it but on some engines it is a real problem so if I was buying a car I would certainly check that if the mileage was getting up that the PCV valve had been replaced and the number of miles that you need to do before it needs replacing varies quite considerably between different brands different manufacturers different engines and also the way the engine has been driven can have a bearing on the lifespan of the PCV so the PCV is an essential component within the engine it's doing a lot of work it's keeping those pressures steady inside the crankcase itself the gases are going into the engine itself so you might worry about those gases causing carbon buildup on the valves and it certainly would do to a certain extent because you've got the oil vapors going into the intake and in a direct injection engine there's no fuel to clean those valves off that is going to contribute to carbon buildup so you would need to get a carbon clean carried out so an alternative is sometimes to have an oil catch can which will collect the oil between the crankcase and the intake so you don't want that oil to go back into the engine because generally it contains a lot of other acids and other harmful components because it's, it's picked that up from the combustion process inside the engine but just just separating that can reduce the issue of carbon buildup so an oil separator is quite a common mod that people do between the crankcase ventilation system and the intake having the PCV there actually increases the engine's performance it increases its efficiency and it reduces harmful deposits so although it is a component that tends to fail and cause problems it's a very useful thing to have in a modern engine so I hope this video has been useful to you please boot that like button because that really helps us to get out there and if you haven't subscribed please do so we would love you to stay tuned and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.